Wow, that thing is completely shot. So this week uh, we're going to tackle the steering components. Um, on a longer test drive I noticed that we have a ton of wander and uh, it looks like it's going to be the uh, center link, uh, otherwise known as like the drag link on other vehicles. But um, I'm just going to take a look at the uh, both tie rods and that center link as well. Here's the steering box. and. Uh, Supposedly you can adjust this, but I don't think the problem lies here. When I turn the steering wheel, this joint here and this joint back here on the center link, they are the ones that uh, have a ton of give and they don't actually start engaging any of the steering components um, until you know, you've moved the steering wheel four inches. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and try and pull this off and just examine it and then replace it. Um, and then if we come underneath, we can kind of see the, uh, the arm here in which the tie rods connect. So this being the driver's side over here and this being the uh, passenger side. Now I've gone ahead and put lubricating or penetrating oil on these connections anticipating um, the removal. One thing that I noticed was um, they have a funny bend to them. Um, it looks like either somebody tried to jack up the vehicle using those. Uh, kind of hard to see but or, or something so I'm gonna be replacing these as well because that's that's no good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually just take off the steering damper there are two, uh, two bolts, one here and one here on the, uh, the actual crossbar. Here's the uh, steering stabilizer and uh, let's give it a shot and test it. Wow, that thing is completely shot. Next up, let's take the passenger side adjustable tie rod off. So it's uh, removing cotter pins. Uh, I may as well do this one as well. Removing the cotter pins, then the nut. And then we come back over here and do the same on this side. So what I've done is knocked all the cotter pins out on the tie rods as well as the drag link and uh, disconnected the uh, castle nut, but just a touch. Um, well. I'm leaving a, a little bit of thread on here so what this is going to do is I'm just going to gently tap these and hopefully that'll break free the connection here and uh, since we're not going to be reusing these really um, you know it doesn't matter too much but um, I'm going to try not to deform the threads so I'm leaving the castle nut connected um, and then just going to tap I tried the castle nut trick with uh, pounding and uh, it didn't actually free it. So then I tried my puller, this guy here, and uh, the jaw is just a little too big for the, uh, the actual steering uh, knuckle. Uh, so that slipped. So the only thing that worked for me was my pickle fork, this guy and it came right out. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that for the rest of them. After using the pickle fork, the uh, tie rod ends came out uh, really easily. So we have the tie rods and the drag link. And uh, as you can see, um, these guys are in dire need of replacement. I mean, it's so loose, like incredibly loose. And you can see that uh, there's a very significant bend in these um, tie rods. Now they're, I mean, they're nearly identical. So I'm, I'm wondering, like, are these special tie rods? Anyway, I haven't seen any that have a bend in them for sale. Um, my hunch is that somebody just put a jack underneath these or something and uh, and bent them. So um, the next thing we're going to do is just 
replace these guys. I'm Here we have the uh, new steering equipment. We've got the drag link, the steering damper, the uh, right uh, tie rod, and the left tie rod. I'm replacing the solid tie rod um, that's found on the left with um, one that's adjustable. Uh, the caution that I'd suggest folks if they, you know, if you go for an adjustable on the left hand side, the driver's side, um, make sure you get it dialed in perfectly to the existing one because that's going to affect um, our centering of the steering arm. So, um, uh, one of the reasons why I like the adjustable is that it's serviceable. Uh, so for example, like on this drag link, uh, we can't even, you have to get a brand new drag link even though this bar is perfect. I hate wasting resources like that. So like on this guy right here, this, this end isn't serviceable, we can't service it. So um, with the adjustable, at least we can service it. The only down downfall is that um, you know, you could have this misadjusted, and that really, uh, really affects the um, centering process. So, the actual steering arm that these connect to could be off. However, you know, the wheels are pointed straight ahead. It's because these are adjusted differently. So, uh, we're going to avoid that by going through the centering process. So, I've got the um, tie rods in. They're not completely tightened down. This is the driver's side this is the uh, f basically the non-adjustable side so um, I've kept it the exact same length as the non-adjustable and uh, marked it with paint on the other side to not adjust <laughs> and then on this side over here um, it's it's ready to go um, the toe is adjusted correctly and then if we come up here we see the steering gear and uh, there's a blob of white paint here but you'll also notice that on the actual uh, gear that spins um, there's a little like embossment like a mark so that needs to sit right on this embossment right here and uh, when you turn the wheel let's see if I can do it I just turned it slightly, but the white mark has moved. So we need to line this up before we put the drag link on. So it just needs to be uh, lined up with this white mark, and then the drag link will be pretty centered. Steering will, will most likely be completely off. Of this. So the toe is adjusted uh, properly, the toe in slightly, like an eighth inch uh, closer in the front than the rear and we have the um, drag link installed so now let's go ahead and uh, take it off the jack stands and take it for a spin i took the bus for a little spin and it looks like the steering wheel is now clocked at uh, about 11 o'clock so i'm just going to take the cap off and uh, spin the uh, steering wheel a little bit here just so that it uh, is nice and straight but otherwise, it's steering fantastic. It locates center perfectly, and uh, man, it's super responsive. So I'm stoked. So I removed the steering wheel and kind of cleaned up the horn contacts and you know all the functions here. So uh, now we're going to reinstall the steering wheel. Now, um, just a quick tip: this is a um, 75 or later column. Um, the horn button just kind of pops right out. Um, it's super easy. You just kind of use a screwdriver and just kind of gently pop it out. And then there's a nut that uh, seats on it and you just pull the steering wheel straight off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, steering wheel back on and uh, we'll be all centered up. So after getting the steering wheel set up, took it for a spin and uh, everything's lined up great. Uh, the steering components, we got all that figured out and man, what a difference. And for, you know, under $200, you know, I think it was like $150, we got all the steering components figured out and it drives so well now. So, so thanks again for following along on uh, another episode.